Welcome to jobskillshare.com. This video is going to be under the virtualization videos that we did. So if you're new from YouTube, first you register and go to this site and go to help this course, go to the course, and then you click on learning path. Click on help desk support specialist. And this video is going to be on the left side, which is going to be under virtualization basic virtualization or we and then here is going to be a uh, virtual box uh, video and another thing is that project 2 is directly related to this video that I'm making right now so you can see the project 2 after this and you guys can get a grade for it so let's just go ahead and start virtual box the first thing you need to do is go to virtualbox.org or you can go to Google like me I would I type virtual box and then I clicked on Oracle virtual box here you can read about it uh, but I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly start downloading it so you have different um, versions right here one for Windows, OS Linux Lars but I'm using Windows and I'm going to click on this link right here and I'm going to start installing it So once it's completed, click on install and run it. All right, so you click on next. I will click on next and leave the default. I need on desktop, yes click on next click yes click install so since this is doing installation let me just talk about it virtualbox is also very important um, this is a good way to know about virtualization and test it out in most of the business and corporate world you will see Windows Server um, Hyper-V or um, the VMware all these uh, vSphere and all that um, you will see that running in the corporate world so this is a good way for a normal user to install this and start playing around because it's very powerful it has the same ability um, I mean almost the same ability to do things like cloning virtual machines creating virtual machines so if somebody asks me why would we need this virtual machine and c can it help as a help desk yes um, it can also help you as a help desk because sometimes you let's say for telecommuting and they um, their computer get messed up so Oracle interface used to need to be updated. Okay, so all the files. All right, I'll just say ignore. So yeah, if somebody's doing telecommuting and their computer get messed up, that's the physical computer. But now you want to come up with an alternative. If you have virtual box somewhere that one machine is running with has a lot of RAM and it has a virtual box installed on it, you can quickly install another window or clone another window and give the access to that employee so they can, they can do their work while you build up that machine for them. It could be a vendor, you don't want to give them access directly to your servers or something like that, or you want a vendor to install or test something on your environment, you can also create a virtual, um, a virtual machine for them, give them access, they can directly work in that machine. If something gets messed up, you can also, you can, you're, you're not going to be worried about your real production environment and some you can always go back to it quickly uh, other things is great for testing software so if you have a new software you want to test it out on your uh, network but you don't want to install it on your real machines and um, and uh, install it on your real users ma uh, users machine you can have two computers one with like you know if you install the server one would be a client and then you can test them out if there's any issues before sending it out to hundreds of hundreds of computers other good things will be you can install um, servers virtual servers on a fly so if you have one server a base image you can create quickly create another uh, backup of it let's say for example you're installing DNS on one server but you have it on but you 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 don't wanna you wanna come back to this original server. You can install it, and then if something gets really messed up, you you delete that copy and you start creating another one. This is how you do. You see, there are so many other ways you can use virtualization for, 
but these videos are basic for you guys to learn about installing it so this video is going to be more installing a uh, virtual machines how to run it how to run a cds on it and uh, stuff like that so we're going to play around with it and at the end once i'm done with it there's going to be um you guys are going to be directly doing a project from this video so i would definitely watch this video how i'm installing it and what steps i'm doing right now so you guys can pass the project and learn more about virtualization so once it's done it's a check mark start oracle vm virtual box and then you click on finish you must restart your computer to make the changes for now i'm just going to click no i don't want to restart right now but as soon as it's restart you can see this because i already had a virtual box before um that came up it might not be the new one could be so so I already had this installed right here, which I'm not going to go through this one, which I'm going to show you guys from how to install another one from the beginning and what you guys are going to be doing a project on too. So the best thing that I can, and you guys can see on the left side, you have like a little here, you can add as many virtual, virtual machines that you want right now. So, but it really depends on your memory, how much memory do you have in this system. So you really want to make sure that this system has a lot of whatever, whatever machine this, this virtual box is running on, you should have a lot of uh, RAM, which I don't have in this machine, but you, you must have a lot of RAM if you are doing it in production and uh, running a virtual machines in there because you're going to be using that RAM for these little machines that you're going to be installing it for different purposes but in this video what we are going to do this is the, the we was just to go around what what it can do you have little different things here if this is the main area where you see machine you can create a new one you can add one you can go to settings you can clone which i love this option now remove the thing you can make groups in there you can do a lot of stuff it's very powerful so you can you, can, you guys can do many many things with it but for this video we're just going to go ahead and install a new virtual machine and how does it work so the easiest one that I think of was the same thing that I did in the last video was react OS if you type react OS and you will see this react OS project it's gonna look like a XP but it's very small file so if you click on that and then go to download here download the live CD and this is how the word most of the virtual machines run from iOS or if it's already installed it's going to be um, VDI or some other sort of virtual uh, hard disk but most of them most of the installations you're going to do from CDs are going to be ISO so that's um, the thing I already installed it so if I go to my documents I can see right here is react OS and this is right here I can go back to the folder which I already did it's right here react all its live CD so you should download this it's only 78 MB uh, once you extract it it's gonna be this much but the reason we're we're doing this because it's small uh, there are other options too you can you can install any um, live CDs like Ubuntu they are pretty big uh, or you can install any other Linux CDs which are free online um, you won't see uh, XP or Windows 7 or something like that or you could do also you could install any Windows 7 for testing if you guess if you guys can do Windows Windows 7 or Windows 8 I guess Windows 8.1 trial and I guess if you guys go here you guys can download the ISO um, from here from the Microsoft side I think it has like I don't know 60 days or 120 days but you can do that that way it's going to give you uh, 90 days so it's going to give you um, a nice uh, you guys can test it out on your on your real machine but it's pretty big so it's in it's in a gig so that's why I wanted to choose react always for projects too because it's only 78 MB and you'll be done downloading it quickly so I already did that let's go back to our virtual machine click on that so what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new one. The way you make a, a new machine in virtual, just click on new here. I am going to name it um, React OS. And then I'm going to click next. And this is 192 MB of RAM, which is all right. I could go here. This red is telling me that now you're, uh, you're kind of, yeah, you don't have too much. So you don't want to go. We, before, we don't want to cross this limit right here if you have a lot of RAM you will see the green bar 
here somewhere and then you can go all the way but since I don't have too much here because my my original system needs this much I'm going to leave it and I'm going to keep it as 192 so that doesn't mess up my system so I'm going to click next create virtual hard drive yes I, I'm going to do this because I don't if I was already I've already had a VDI file I could use this but I'm going to create a new one and then I'm going then I have different options what do you want to create VDI virtual box this image you want a virtual this image you want a virtual hard disk what do you want to do I'm going to just keep it VDI as a virtual box because I'm using virtual box dynamic allocator you can fix size takes a lot of time it's a fixed size from your hard drive that takes longer time it tells you right here so I wouldn't do that I'm just going to um, pick up the uh, dynamically allocated so I'm just gonna click next here I'm going to give it like 5 GB of uh, my disk and then I click next and then create so now it created that um, a w um, virtual hard disk but if I click on start there's nothing in this hard disk right now it tells me what do you want to do do you want to run it from a CD do you have a CD or anything that you can run so what I'm going to do is to go and find the, uh, wherever you install the react always so if you click on that click open it is going to start that CD and now you guys can see that it will prompt me for doing what do you want to do with the CD it's a live CD so I want to run this CD and see if it works and this is how you guys will be doing this is from here it's basically like installing a real system on machines like you know, if, you, if I have a ISO Windows 8 CD and I plug it into my CPU uh, CD-ROM or DVD-ROM is a DVD-ROM. So it's, if, if I plug it into DVD, it will be the same process after that. So this is the part where, where you already know or um, you are used to it. But before it, it was everything was virtualized. So now what it's doing, it's, it's just doing its own thing. And in a few seconds, we should see React OS Windows. So now we can play around in this virtual environment here. I can mess this computer and then go back and do the same process but now since things are getting way cooler what you can do is you can save this so so let's say you install this new machine here this is a server that you're using it for some site and then but you have this like you know standard image of server you don't want to mess it up you ha you want to install another server to install that site on what you will do is you will just power off this you have a you just made a fresh image of this server what you can do is you can right click and clone it and once you clone it you can name it whatever I'll just say server for site and I'm going to click next click full clone and now what's gonna happen is now I have another clone of this machine right here so I can play around with this machine as much as I want if this site didn't work I'm gonna go back and make another clone and delete this one and I can do this many times as long as I don't mess up my real one so this gives me an opportunity to work on a site or any other issues if I know that it's going to be if, if it's going to mess, mess it up I don't have to waste so much time to create another server and do the installation and everything you guys saw how quickly it is to make a clone so let's say I'm done with step one here I install the site but I'm not sure about this step two what I will do I'll make another clone here and say full clone and now I can T try the step two on this machine and then if it works I'll just delete this or keep it and or delete this one because I, I know it worked over here I want to keep this one or if it didn't work something I messed up now I still didn't waste too much time I can go back and do the step two again by cloning it again this is the power of virtualization so see how quickly you guys can do things you guys can get back to it you guys can create a backups. A lot of people are even using Active Directories these days. You will see DC1 in your company or DC, DC1, DC2, domain controller. And it's because it's so easy to keep these uh, backups of these things. If there's some changing, uh, changes are done by some administrator, but they're not sure, they can always go back to it quickly because those are very important computers. So this is the power of virtualization so what you guys can do is you guys can install VirtualBox on your machine and try this little things out if react oh, this is free for install open source you guys can play around with it um, now I do have XP right here if I turn it on right now 
I can I can you guys will see that I can run a whole XP system. The, the reason I, I, I have this because I already plug in the CD and then I took an ISO of it and then ran that and um, did a full installation on this machine. So I can have as many uh, XP machines right now. I can open this right now and I can make a clone. Uh, you can make a clone while it's running. So let's say I want to save this. Let's say I want to test. I want to, let's say I have four vendors and I want to create four different and four of them are working in four different applications for me and I want to give them access what I'll do is I'm going to create save this and I'm going to create another clone for this so I'll say vendor the V1 so vendor 1 will work on this machine alright since this is a big file this is why it's going to take time I'm going to cancel it right now since because I don't want to give that. So basically that's the basic idea after this. I could do the same thing. Um, we could we could use the same example here because there's nothing in there, it's very small. So I'll just say V1, Vendor 1 should work on this machine and then Vendor 2 should work on another machine, Vendor 3 should work on another machine. I could do this all day and the reason I'm saying is that you must know, you can't, you can't put all the virtual machines and at the end you find out that your system is crashing just because you you don't have too much RAM and you started creating virtual machines here they start eating up your memory so keep keep that in mind you could only do a lot if you have a lot of memory over here in your real machine because if that if you if you install all that and kind of like abusing this part of it your whole system will go down because the main server was not ready for it. All right, so hopefully you guys learned something from this video. This was a basic VirtualBox video. You, this was for you guys to install it, play around with it. You guys know what to install here, React OS, open it up, play around with that virtual machine, make a clones of it, and then if you guys have a real CD, make an ISO of it, and then install the real system on it, or go to online, install Windows 8, Windows 7 and then install Windows 8 or 7 on this machine or servers on here and then play around with it. Uh, make sure if you're installing a server if you are running 32-bit system this might not work because you're running a 32-bit system but you're installing a 64-bit um, uh, operating system that could crash your system right here. So that's how you do it. I'm going to create another video for a project and watch that video and it's going to be just for explaining the project um, and using this video for for you guys to do a, uh, get a grade on it all right thank you so much see you guys in the next video